Hello and welcome to Full of Food. So a bit of a different video this time. I've managed to get my hands on one of the new Ninja stacks and I'm going to compare it to my trusty Ninja Jewel. Now it's worth saying that I bought this with my own money. It was launched on Wednesday, today is Friday. So I've been using it for the past couple of days. I got it from Curry's, it arrived with DPD next day. So it arrived on launch day on Wednesday. And I've learned quite a lot using this machine over the last couple of days. Things that I need to tell you about, if you watch on, you'll find out all about them and whether it's worth paying the extra for this or whether the trusty jewel is the way to go. So first off, I'm going to talk about what's the same about these two machines. So if we start off with the functions, we've got six functions, max crisp, air fry and roast, bake, reheat and dehydrate. And for both machines, that's exactly the same. They've stuck to exactly the same functions. Next up, we're going to look at capacity. So when I'm talking about capacity, I'm talking about the volume of each of the drawers. So the two drawers on the jewel combined are 9.5 litres. The two drawers on the stack combined are also 9.5 litres. But there is a difference in the size. So obviously we're talking about volume. We'll talk about the size a bit later on and that's worth noting with these two. So next thing is dishwasher. So both are dishwasher safe. I haven't really dishwashed my jewel trays. I tend to like to soak them with a dishwasher tablet in with boiling hot water. I've got a video on that if you want to have a look. A really great way of cleaning your jewel. I'll put the details below. You can, however, put both of these in the dishwasher. So super handy, really simple if that's the way you want to go. So next up is the power of the two machines. So both machines are exactly the same. We're getting 2,470 watts for each machine. So now let's look at the differences between the two. So this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. First major difference is cost. Amazon are selling these at the moment for £199. They dropped the cost knowing that this stack was coming along. So you can pick up a brand new one for £199. With the stack, they're coming in at £270. So another £70 here. And we'll go on and have a look at the differences and see if it's worth that extra £70. So next up is the height. So they made this stack to save space. There's no doubt about it. That's why they designed it. And if you look at the width of the stack, we're coming in at 28 centimetres. So just a little bit less than a typical ruler. If you look at the jewel, we're coming in at 41.5 centimetres. No surprise there. It's a wider machine. Both of your baskets are side by side. Here, both of your baskets are stacked. So now let's look at the depth. So when I talk about depth, I talk about how deep the machine is. So we've got, with the stack, we've got a depth of 47 centimetres and with the jewel, 27 centimetres. So where you've gone up, you've increased the depth of the machine compared to the jewel. Looking at weight, the stack is a bit heavier. That comes in at 10.3 kilograms. The jewel comes in at 8.8. .8. To be honest, unless you move your machines around all the time, I do because of filming, but there's no real difference between these two and it won't make any difference with your cooking. So next up, what these machines come with. The jewel obviously just comes with your trays. The stack comes with da -da 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 -da, a grill tray included. And this is pivotal to one other thing that this machine does that this one doesn't, which is it has a way of cooking two things at once. Now you think, brilliant, that might be chips on the bottom, uh, fish chickens on the top, but actually it's designed for putting things like new potatoes and vegetables on the bottom and then a meat on the top. And actually that's really nice because it drips the lovely juices of the meat onto it. But that's why this exists. And actually this is really handy. With the Jewel, I have bought some of these off of Amazon that I use all the time if I just want a little bit extra capacity. But that means that you've got that coming already with your machine, which is super nice. The other thing we must point out is that I do find it difficult to get these in and I'll talk about why in a bit. 
Okay, so now we're gonna look at the draw dimensions. So Ninja sort of say these are the same, but actually I think they're kind of different. Here we've got the jewel. So we are 17 centimeters across, 21 and a half along. Let's compare that to the stack. So internal, we are 18 and a half. So you've gained a centimeter and a half, so a thin fish finger. And then here we've got 22, so gained a little bit there. And the reason that has happened is they've actually made the drawers, if you can see there, they've made them thinner. So the depth is less on the stack. So quite handy because you can get a little bit more food in there. Okay, that then leads on to looking at the actual crisper plates in the bottom and the difference with those two. So if I take this one out, let's take that out so it's not in the way. So these are the two crisper plates side by side. What we'll do is get the trusty tape measure again and we can see that you've got 16 there, 18 there, you've got the 21 there and about 21 there. So you can see from when we measured the top that actually it is slightly bigger, that cooking area that you've got there. So slightly bigger with your crisper tray. Okay, next thing to say is how these two machines vent the hot air from cooking. So with the jewel, it vents at the back. So when you put this on your surface, you don't want to put it too close to the wall, you want to leave a little bit of a gap. With this one, it vents to the side. Now that seems brilliant, but what you have to work out then is where you're putting this machine. So if the wall, if you've got a wall or another machine here is to your left, it's all good. If it's to the right, you need to consider where it's venting. That also has an implication with the control panel, which I'll talk about in a minute. The other big thing is where the element is in these two machines. So with a jewel, if you look up inside the machine, there's an element at the top. So the heat is produced and it fans down into, pushes air down into the tray and cooks. The major difference is with the stack, it's actually at the back of the machine. It's not at the top. And that is really evident when you look at the back of the basket. So if you see this mesh here, what you've got inside the machine is you've got the element and it's pushing the heat inside. So the heat is actually going to come in from the back in this machine, whereas in this machine, it comes down. And that, I think, has a bit of a difference in the cooking. Now, what I did, the first thing I did when I got these machines, was I did a little bit of cooking of some hash browns, the hash brown test. So I got two hash browns and I cooked them in the two machines. And it was really interesting. So trusty jewel, 12 minutes, that cooks my hash brown perfectly. Did exactly the same for the stack. And this is what happened. So with the jewel, I didn't flip these, I just put it in the machine. This is how it cooked. So the crisper plate has worked on the bottom, worked really well. With the stack, you can see it's cooked a little bit underneath, but it's less cooked. So cooking in this machine, as far as I know, to this point is going to take a little bit longer. And I wonder if that's because the heat's coming from the back and not from the top. So hash brown test was the first thing I did and there's the results from that. So now let's look at the control panel. So with the jewel, we've got the normal controls. We turn it on, we choose which side we want, we adjust, we do our time and temperature and we press start and stop. With the stack, it's not really very intuitive. Now, I've never found this the best. I think it could be better in terms of simplification of how you use the buttons, but this one seems even more confusing. So at the top, you've got which basket you're choosing. So one or two, one at the top, two at the bottom. Makes sense, one is at the top, two is at the bottom. When you turn it on, you choose that. So you choose number one, say. Then you have to turn your knob to air fry well, on the jewel, we do the same. 
So we choose one, we turn the knob to air fry. But then you have to choose your time and your temperature. And the worst thing about this is that you've got the knob here and you've got these little buttons above. Now, if you've got nails or big hands, this is a bit of an issue. The other problem is I wanted this on my surface next to my fridge unit here that comes out. I can't do that because I can't use this slim control panel without putting my hand behind it to press the buttons because it just is way too thin. You bang your hand and I've got relatively smallish hands. If you had bigger hands, I think that would be a problem. So it's just not intuitive. Also, you've got the time at the top and the temperature at the bottom and then they've swapped them over to temperature first and time here. So it's just a little bit unintuitive. It's not really been thought out. I feel like this was sort of a last minute bit. So next we're going to look at the sound. So last night I cooked in both of the machines and I measured the sound. So we were picking up with the Joule 62 decibels and with the stack 68 decibels. So not a huge difference, but this to me did sound louder, but I am very used to this one. So it's worth saying that. The next thing I want to talk about is really quite exciting. So this is what I was talking about at the beginning, which is this double stack pro button. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to build a meal with something on the bottom, a vegetable or a starch, then the rack, then your protein on top, and then cook it. So there are other machines that Ninja do that do this function, and I have used them in the past, and actually it's really nice to have some really nice, say, new potatoes or veg cooked with a bit of meat, chicken, steak on the top, and have those lovely juices drop through. And it comes with this really handy instruction document, and it even gives you some lovely ideas of what you can put. So look, you've got your carbs that go on the crisper plate at the bottom so we've got potatoes we've got corn we've got tomatoes and then it's got your protein at the top so it shows you the different things you can do and i think this is really nice function of this machine so now on to the things i've learnt in 24 hours first thing is that control panel so like i said it's not intuitive the order's a little bit wrong the wheel's a bit funny it's quite hard to get to if you've got something like a unit on the right hand side, you're gonna to have to leave a little bit of a gap to probably get your hand behind it. It's just not ideal. Next, the drawer. Now, this was something I learned last night, which I thought was really interesting. Ninja have made this machine to go on a standard kitchen surface. So a standard kitchen surface is about 59. 60 centimetres deep. So mine is standard, my kitchen is standard. What that meant is if you put the machine there and then you pull the drawer out, and this one is also standard, so I'm going to put it to the back and show you. So you pull the drawer out here, right? You can't put a mat here because this is hitting the edge, my edge is right here hitting the edge and you can't put a mat there. So you can't take that. So you need extra space beside your machine to be able to put this down to do anything to what was inside there. So let's say I had a nice chicken breast. I wanted to turn it, I wanted to season it. I'd have to put it down somewhere else. The other thing, which I really found quite annoying, was I often pull out a drawer, season with salt and pepper, add a bit more paprika or something to my chicken breast, make sure that I've got nice flavors going on in there. When I did that yesterday, I had a chicken breast in the bottom here. I pulled this out and I thought that's fair, far enough. This, I can't get anything. So I got my salt and pepper and I can't get it in there. So although they've designed this to sit on a standard surface, what's actually happening is you can't put it in front of the machine because it's actually a bit too deep. So if only they'd made it a little bit shorter and I understand that has probably problems because of all what's inside this unit here, but it is a little bit clunky and clumsy from that point of view. So in terms of the drawer, that top handle getting in a way and not being able to fit it in front of the machine on a standard surface, I think is a little bit of a negative about this. Next up is the cleaning. I said to you that I do my cleaning with my jewel. I pop 
a dishwasher tablet in, I put boiling hot water in, I let it soak for about 20 minutes and I give it a good scrub. Cannot do that with this at all. And I did clean this one this morning because I was my cooking yesterday and you can only get up to that level. And that's really annoying because often you want to soak that crisper tray. So you, I always put the water to just above the crisper tray. And if you look there, you could only just do that. So when you put it on the side and you pick it up, unless it's in a sink, it just spills water all out the back. So a little bit of a problem there for me. The other thing to say is these little rubber bits here um, that put the crisper plate in look like they're going to be a harbour for picking up dirt. They don't seem to come off, I mean, similar to this, but there's quite a few of them here. Um, the other thing to say is I find these really difficult to put in and I think that's because they've got these little notches for your rack to go in. So I think you have to sort of get used to the angle. I'm not doing this on purpose, I promise. And practice, it should be the same way around. Or oh, maybe it's back to front, practice how you put it in. So tiny little niggly thing there. And the other thing was, the hash brown test, which I've always already showed you, difference in the two hash browns. And that leads me on to another favorite in our house, which is chips. This drawer, when you do your chips, they fall down underneath, they fall down underneath the crisper plate. That happens in the flex drawer as well, doesn't happen in the jewel. Can be really annoying if you're like me and sometimes you cook chips for one child, and then half an hour later you cook some more so you don't wash it in between. If some have fallen down, they go a little bit burnt and then makes your machine smell. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. What I'm planning on doing is using this machine for another week or so and then coming back with a really jam-packed video about things I love and things I don't love so much about this machine. But I hope it's helped you decide whether it's worth spending the 270. If I was to decide, I'd buy a jewel, mainly because I've got the space and I just find this so easy to use. You can shape two different sides, you can pull it out and have mats in front, it fits perfectly. If you're short on space, this is a really good option, but I don't think it's worth £70 more than this one. Thank you for watching.